So I got the chance to watch what I would consider my favorite movies of all time, twice. One time with Kyuubi Sensei, and the other with my family. That's right, Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! Wreck-It Ralph is a story about Wreck-It Ralph, who's tired of being a bad guy in his video game, and decides to explore the world of gaming in order to prove that he isn't as bad as he seems. As much as he's been considered the bad guy by the nice lenders in his video game, I don't think he's a bad guy at all, he's just a little misunderstood. Think about it, if you're a guy happily slipping your stump, minding your own business, when all of a sudden a bulldozer comes in and drives you all the way to the dump, while they rebuild your sleeping place into a building, wouldn't you be pissed off too? For wreck and Ralph's case, he just has a little trouble managing his own anger and decides to van it out on this new Niceland building that they have built in his place. The story is amazing, it's got a really nice heartwarming feel to it, and as for the animation, it's Disney. How could you go wrong? Why do I fix everything I touch? The thing that I love the most about this movie is the fact that they try to include as much game references as they can in the movie. When Jubi Sensei and I first watched the movie, we were having a lot of fun trying to figure out what game references they made in the movie. And by the way, we love Penelope Von Schweetz. We thought this movie was just gonna be a one-off thing. Get into the cinema, watch the movie, come out, and forget about it. But I was wrong. I found out that there was actually a 30-year-old cabinet of Fixer Felix Jr. somewhere in Singapore. So after doing a little bit of research, I decided to look for it. This is how it went. So now I'm at Boogie's Junction, minding my own business, walking around when I saw this awesome thing in front of me. And would you believe that it's the real deal of Fix It Felix Jr. Mm -hmm. I can fix it. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is no different from the Disney version. Why do I fix everything I touch? <laughs> I can understand Ralph's sadness. Oh, sorry, dude. I'll play. I'll play our future game in the future. But for now, bye. Uh... Head to the chocolate mud with you. <laughs> Come on, Diana. Give me a bye. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun actually. Okay, bye. What? I may be an avid gamer, but I'm not the best. I'm sorry if this video comes off as a little boring to all of you. I just wanted to share with you some of the experiences that I've had while watching the movie and how it brings all the nostalgic moments as a child gamer back to me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't watched wreck it Ralph, go ahead and watch it. It's really amazing. And after watching it, if you can still find a cabinet, go ahead and play it. It's amazing. Bye! It's the real deal of Fix-It Felix Jr. The real 1980, uh, 1980 article. Are you having fun? Hi. <laughs>